Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss a very important uh, interview questions. This will be asked most of the times in any SQL interview and we are going to make this video fun. So this question is like you have two tables with, with the duplicate keys and when you join them, what will be the output, right? And they will ask you that, okay, with inner join, how many number of records, left join, route join, full outer join, and they will try to confuse you. I will cover all the scenarios during the video. I will insert more values in these tables and will cover all the scenarios so that there is no confusion going forward for all of you. Okay. Also, if you are not uh, aware of join types, what is left join, inner join, full outer join, right join, watch out my video. I will tag somewhere on the top was that get your concept clear of four kinds of join and then see your video so that it will make more sense to you okay and please do like the video and comment on the video so that it will reach wider audience okay so let's start so i have created these two tables with one one column and for now i have created this two records in this with value one one and three records with this with one 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 okay so what will happen if we do inner join, left join, right join, full outer join? Okay, I will cover more scenarios. Let's start with this. This video might be a long one, but please do watch so that there is no confusion in future. So what happens when you join these scenarios, right? Where you have duplicate keys. So how join works? So when this record will go to this table, I mean this this record will go to table T2. This is T1, T2. So this record of T1 when goes to table T2, it will find three ones. And this one will not be able to differentiate that he has to join with which this one, this one, this one, right? So it is not a human that it can choose one of these. It is a machine. It is a database. It cannot differentiate between these three values. So it will join with all three. So this one will get joined with all these three values. And when this one will go to this table, again, it will join with all three values. So there will be six records, right? Right? So this is how you define number of records, number of values in this, the, the, the common keys, two and here three, two into three, six. So if I do an inner join, there will be six values. Okay, I will run this later. Let's talk about left join, route join and full outer join also. So in left join, what is left join? Left join is, all the matching records will come like the output of inner join will be there plus the non-matching records from left table in our case t1 is our left table so first whatever is the output of inner join that will be there plus non-matching records from left table but there is no not matching record right all are matching records this one for this each one there is one one key in the other table also so there is no non-matching records right so the so the output will be same as inner join, right? Similarly for right outer join, all the matching records plus non-matching records from right table, but there is no non-matching record again here, right? So in this case also, number of records will be six. What is full outer join? Full outer join is matching records from both the tables plus non-matching records again from both table, table, right table also, left table also, because, but in both the tables, there is no non-matching record again the result will be same as inner join for all four joins so if i run this there will be six records or i run any join it will be six records right so ho i hope this is clear do not get confused okay if all are matching records in both the tables then the result of all the joins will be same right this is a thumb rule if all are matching records in both the tables the result of all the four time kinds of join will be same okay okay now let me add some twist in this what i'm going to do i'm going to add a value two here and three in this table okay let me execute it so let's see the data again so now we have a record here non-matching record this two is not matching here in t2 Again, 3 is not matching here in T1. Now, what will happen? In the inner join, only the common records will come. So, 1 is common. So, there are 2 ones and there are 3 ones. 2 into 3 is 6 records. Right? Now, in case of left join, what will happen? In case of left join, all the matching records, 2 into 3 is 6 records, plus non-matching records on the left table. So, non-matching is 2. So two will come. So there will be seven records, right? 
in case of right joint all the matching records plus non matching records from right table so 6 plus 1 how many records seven records again okay so let me run it and then we will go to full outer joint so 2 is there and null because there is no matching records for 2 from here 3 is coming and id1 will be null okay and here what will happen all the matching records and all the non matching records from both the tables so there will be eight records right 1 1 1 for 2 null i have a record and null 3 i have a record okay so for full outer join what is how you have to calculate first we have to see matching records plus so there are six records so first we will calculate by doing inner join 2 into 3 6 plus you will add non matching records from left table plus non matching records from right table that will be the number of records in the output similarly if you have to do for left join first find what will be the out out uh, output of inner join that many number of records plus non matching records from left table i hope this is clear so far right now let me add some more duplicate data here so what i will do i will add one more two and i will add a two here also okay let's see the data okay so now what is going to happen is see one one is same now i am doing a inner join so one one is there right and there are three ones so two into three how many six records right this will remain same now for two there are two records and how many records are there one record of two so two into one is two right these are the only matching records one and two one and two three is non matching so in the inner join there will be eight records right there will be eight records see right now let's let's see what will happen in case of left join in case of left join what will happen just think about it comment in the uh, comment in the comment section what will be the output so if you see when we do left join this will be left uh, uh, the matching records from both tables so one and two both are matching right and there is no non matching record in the left table now right there is no non matching records one and two both are matching so left join and uh, inner join will be same in this case right there will be eight records in case of right join what will happen now this is this is little tricky now what will what how many records will be there in right join just think about it so what will happen now so first of all let's do a matching record so one is matching 3 into 2 six record plus now let's forget about 3 for now 2 is there so 2 1 and 2 so there will be 1 into 2 2 records right there is one record of 2 here and two records of 2 is here so 1 into 2 2 and 2 into 3 6 and this 3 is there a non matching record so for non matching record there will be one record always so there will be total seven records in this case there are uh i think something is oh, sorry nine records 6 plus 2 plus 1 nine records will be there okay so there is this is non matching record and for others we have the joins right now let's see full outer join at this point for not null values i think you should be clear how to do we will uh, work with null values after this okay so full outer join what will happen let's calculate full outer join so what we said first find out the let me add one more one more value here so that it will be it will cover everything so i will add a four here okay and then everything should be clear okay so now let's do this when i'm doing full outer join here let's do first matching records so matching records two are there and three are there three into two right i let me do select three into two plus again now we go to two how many records are there of two let me add one more two then it will be more fun okay so if you understand full join you understand other joins also so 3 into 2 is fine there are two records here three are there so first we are covering matching records what else is matching two is matching so 
so there are two records here two records here of two so two into two two into two plus now this is a full out return right so all the matching records so we covered now four is not matching so there will be one record for this plus there is one record three non matching for one record for this right so one one record for non matching and inner join so how many records are there now there should be 12 records let's run it there are 12 records you see four and three are non matching so other values are null and everything else has just cartesian product right we call it cartesian product also two into three it is a cartesian six two into two four we call it cartesian product also okay now last thing pending here is when we have null values let's cover that so i will insert some null values so let me insert null value here and let me insert a null value here on both the tables okay now you have to understand this null cannot be compared to other null what it means null is not equal to null so null value will not be joined also with null value so in this case when we are saying there is a null here and there is a null here as well right see null is there okay so null is there null is there these two nulls will not be joined because null is not equal to null null is a unknown value so when i do inner join what will happen uh, my bad so when i do inner join only the matching records will happen right so matching records uh, 3 into 2 6 and 2 into 2 4 10 records should be there null will not be joined with null so there are 10 records only the matching ones now look at the left join so what will happen in left join all the records from left table will come so null will come one null will come right so let's do for this so how many records will be there two into two into three six plus there are two twos and two twos four four plus there is a one four here this is a non-matching record from left table and this is also a non-matching record so two one one for each so there will be six plus four ten and twelve records so we go to left join there will be 12 records because we are doing a left join so null is coming this is not a matching null for this null there is no matching value so it is coming as null right i hope this is clear now who will answer in case of full outer join what will happen okay so just now we saw how many records were there three into two so they were total 12 records right they were total 12 records after that we added null null so what is going to happen this null is different from this null so whatever we have calculated 12 records that will be there right and there will be one one null values separate record from both the tables because this null is not joined with this null so there is a separate record for this null and there is a separate record for this null so there will be total 14 records now right so let me run this always remember see there is this null one null and other null right and there is this uh, non-matching record these are also non-matching records and everything else matching records so always remember null is not equal to null we cannot join two nulls together we have to separate them out that this null is different from this null right i hope this is clear okay let me know if you have still have any confusion in, on this topic i can create more video but definitely this this question will be asked to you in the sql interview please do like this video so that more and more people can understand this concept and they should not make this mistake in the interviews okay thanks for watching have a good day